moment, um, I will be helping you to make, um, uh, uh, one of the smaller systems, uh, service systems in, uh, Universe Sandbox 2. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to, uh, new, go to new, and then when you open it up, uh, grab, um, <laughs> A tiny star like this. Um, you have to follow your steps. So make it 105 times so beautiful. And then go to long luminosity that's here. Go to luminosity sun, the L sun. And I believe it. Uh, oh, yeah. Turn on orbits and zone first. Always do that. Orbits and zone first. Um, uh, I believe it's one or two cities. I think it's two cities. And it's not doing it. There you go. Okay. Uh, there you go. Um, now we have one of the dimmest stars in the universe. Um, what you want to do is you want to exit this angle. Oh, before you do that, uh, put on position lock. Put on position lock. Now, the first part you want to add in is uh gas giant so put it around uh possibly around here now, obviously I like to have my first gas giant to be absolutely massive absolutely just huge probably right in nine hours so now that is rotating I'm going to leave that at possibly like uh, 15 stars. It's going to be that around there. Uh, so this is going to be your first gas giant. Obviously it's going to be nearly the size of the star. I'll just show you. That's how big it is. It's going to be. The star is incredibly small. Uh, and then you want to add in your next gas giant. Possibly put it around. So this one is obviously going to be, I don't know, you could put it as 7.74 times the size of it. And it goes around here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to disturb each other, but if they do, they do. Uh, and then you want to add just add in like lots of planets like this. And one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. And you could put the rocket planets so incredibly close to each other. Like... I'll show you how close they are. That is how close they are. You can put them so close. Like scary close. Like it's just terrifying how close they are. Um, so after you've done that. Uh, I would recommend putting like another gas giant. So like say you put a gas giant like from that here. Uh, obviously this gas giant is obviously going to be. Uh, like six five. Grab this one. Um, so full of lack of stuff, guys. <laughs> um, zero point two, I believe. Oh, for God's sakes! Yeah. Uh, and now you have a pretty finished. You have one of the smallest systems. I mean, uh, I'll show you the sun. The sun. The sun. Absolutely gigantic. This is the size of the sun. It's huge compared to this teeny star. And I believe Jupiter is like absolutely huge. Yeah. Like a gas giant will not start to heat up until it's around here. So this is where it will start to get really nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh this is like a normal red dwarf. Compared to like an ultra red dwarf, like the ultra red dwarf is like the teeny star, and the normal red dwarf is the one that I'm like just showing you right now. Just look at the size difference, like that's just insane. This star will probably birth like quadrillion years, like so many quadrillion years, or maybe, uh, uh, what's that? Yaelian years? I think it's Yaelian years, I'm not entirely sure, but this star will. Definitely 
um, outlived the universe. Like, even if this was the first star ever born, it would still outlive the universe. It would probably outlive the multiverse because it's so incredibly small. Um, surface temperature is 2128 degrees. I don't know why I was going to say it before. Um, now, putting moon around this is going to be pretty difficult. Um, so, you could put moon around this. I think if you like, turn down the time. I, I, yeah, you can put moon around this. I don't know. If you just speed up again. Oh! No, you can't. <laughs> you can't put a moon around this. So, uh, I didn't want to, like, you know, give it this. Uh, give it this. Because I don't want to play smashing people. You could, uh, I don't know, grab Neptune, Venus, or any of the uh, uh, like existing plants here. I didn't put them in order. I'm just going to put like Neptune, like an asteroid, stick sticking them in. Don't say that stuff. Oh my god, that's thin. Even though the star looks absolutely ginormous in the sky. There's not, it's like 0 0.00012 the luminosity of the sun. I know, is it? It's 0 0.00001, yeah, 0 0.00001213 luminosity of the sun. That is like, uh, that's dim. <laughs> that's super dim. Uh, so yeah, um, you got Neptune here, obviously. This is a pretty large gas, like 17.1 times the size of the Earth. And I think our largest one is like 15, so this is the largest one by far. So this has changed out all the way to like nearly complete hydrogen. Uh, and then we're going to put like the moon there next to it. I don't, I don't know why, but I. Recommend now oh, what one is it? Um, I think the moon would look pretty cool. It's so dim, in fact. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's so dim that you need an object about the size of bloody uh, titan to create solar eclipse because there's no other object that's going to create a solar eclipse on titan so, um, so now titan is in orbit I can't even grab titan grab it grab it no. uh, let's make it I don't know Five times size. Uh, I would make it like Earth size, but then that would just fuck up everything. Um, excuse my language, I apologize for that. Um, now you're asking, would I make this cube size? Possibly not, because it'll be larger than Star then, and that. Uh, in real life, if you have a planet larger than like a star. Uh, then you've broken the laws of physics. That's how, like, terrifying it is. Anyway, moving on. Uh, because this, because Titan's got, like, liquid methane on it. Well, it doesn't have liquid methane on it now, because I've completely, um, uh, uh, it's like just below zero degrees, so now all that methane is just, just going to turn to. You can't even see the surface, that's how red this star is. Like, this is the smallest bloody star, like, just shit, man. Ooh, green atmosphere, nice. Yo, let's get rid of Titan, because I don't like Titan that much. I don't like it. <laughs> I <laughs> just don't judge me. I don't like time. Uh, what an atmosphere, please. Uh, 
Alright, this game really hates me. It's almost like he's saying, nope, you ain't getting a fucking extra thing. Oh, then I'll just get rid of moon then. Ooh, that's nice. I don't think it's too close because then I can get the part by that just one. Uh two Look at that. Really? How big is the core? The core is tiny. Oh uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um So to be order to heat up this moon, this like this dash line, uh example, Neptune. Will have to be pretty bloody large. Like it will have to be, I think it's five or seven and a half times the size of Jupiter, because then the gravity will be so incredibly huge that it will like nearly rip apart the moon, like kind of shit. Greenhouse effect is like fifty-seven. Wait, wait! I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> Let's actually make this like Jupiter size. How big is this? Like you, you see what I mean, guys? Like seriously, that is just messed up. Like it's larger than the star for crying out loud. Really? <laughs> it's larger than the star. All right. Stop missing around now. Uh you probably stop missing around. Stop missing. Okay. Ooh, let's just leave orbits are better with and whatever that's so I do not know. Uh sorry guys, I have I can't really pronounce words that well. Uh wrong I'll grab. I'm not, I'm going to grab the earth, thank you. Don't be a major kick in the ass. Stick that in orbit. And then we're going to look at the earth. Oh my god, the earth. What happened to the atmosphere? Oh, I'm already on there. Wait, this is rising temperature. <laughs> no, it's falling temperature now. It's rising temperature. Alright. Carbon dioxide. Gigatons. Kilotons. Gigatons is carbon dioxide. Wait, is that falling? Oh shit. That's bad. Oh, I think it's too close. Hang on. I think the plant is just way too close. Or is it because the planet's freezing? That is really good detail. That is amazing. Uh, that's about seven fifty at a constant rate. Emission rate 2.3 gigatons. Cost the rate of removal. Ah, uh, none, thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, is that increasing? No, it's decreasing. What the Let's put up 10. 10. Oh, it's still decreasing. What the fuck? Oh! Sorry, guys, I'm being a little bit now. Um, uh, so yeah, that's all you need to do, really. Create the perfect system. We have the smallest system in the universe I'm not Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe, comment, and like this video. Peace.